Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Oknik's YouTube channel! In this video, we will identify the percentile of a group data. What is a percentile? Percentiles are the 99 score points which divide the set of scores in 100 equal parts. Percentile is the most commonly used measure to determine the standing of an individual in a group. In determining the percentiles from a group data in the form of a frequency distribution, consider the formula P sub K is equal to L P K plus quantity K times N all over 100 minus C F B all over F P K times I, wherein L P K is the lower class boundary of the percentile class. C F B is the sum of the frequencies before the percentile class. F P K is the frequency of the percentile class. N is the total frequency. I is the class size, and K is the nth percentile. Let us have our first problem. Given the frequency distribution of the scores obtained by 45 students of grade 10 mathematics in a 100-item test, solve for P sub 32, P sub 59, and P sub 78. Adding all the frequencies in the second column, we will arrive at n is equal to 45. This will be the value of our n. By completing By completing the second column, which is the cumulative frequency, we will have 3, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7, plus 6, is equal to 13. Following the same process, we will arrive at 22, 32, 37, and 45. The lower class boundary of our first inter interval 10 to 21 is equal to 9.5. 22 to 33 is equal to 21.5, 33.5, 45.5, 57 57.5, 69.5 and 81.5 Let us now identify the value of P sub 32 using the formula K times N all over 100 wherein K is equal to 32 and N is equal to 45 that is equal to 32 times 45 divided by 100 which is equal to 14.4. The 32nd percentile lies on the 14.4 score. The 14.4 score lies in the interval 46 to 57. This makes 46 to 57 our percentile class. The lower class boundary of our percentile class is 45.5. The sum of the frequencies before is 13. The frequency of the class is equal to 9. K is equal to 32. N is 45. And the class size is 12 because there are 12 scores from 10 to 21 and to all the class intervals. Using these values, let us now substitute to the formula. We will have P sub 32 is equal to 45.5 plus the value of Kn over 100 that we have solved a while ago, which is equal to 14.4 minus 13 all over 9 times 12. Simplifying the numerator, 14.4 minus 13 
we will arrive at 1.4. 1.4 divided by 9 is equal to 0 0.16. 0 0.16 times 12 is equal to 1.92. 1 1.92 plus 45.5 is equal to 47.42. In short, the 32nd percentile of the group is equal to 47.42. Let us now solve for P sub 59. Using k times n all over 100, and k is equal to 59. That is equal to 59 times 45 divided by 100, which is equal to 26.55. The 59th percentile lies on the 26.55th score of the frequency distribution. The 26.50 score lies in the interval 58 to 69, which makes 58 to 69 our percentile class. The lower class boundary of our percentile class is 57.5. The sum of the frequencies before the percentile class is 22. The frequency is equal to 10. K is equal to 59. The total frequency is 45 and the class size is still 12. Using these values, let us now substitute to the formula. That is equal to P sub 59 is equal to 57.5 plus the value of Kn all over 100 which we have solved a while ago which is equal to 26.55 minus 22 all over 10 times 12. Simplifying the numerator, 26.55 minus 22 is equal to 4.55 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.46 times 12 which is equal to 5.52 plus 57.5 is equal to 63.02. That means that P sub 59 is equal to 63.02. Let us now solve for P sub 78 using the formula K times N all over 100 wherein K is equal to 78 and N is equal to 45. That is equal to 78 times 45 all over 100, which is equal to 35.1. The 78th percentile of the group lies on the 35.1 score. Thirty five point one lies in the class interval seventy to eighty one, which makes seventy to eighty one our percentile class. The lower class boundary of our percentile class is now 69.5. CFB is equal to 32. The frequency is equal to 5. And K is equal to 78. N is equal to 45 and I is equal to 12. Using these values, let us now substitute to the formula that is equal to P sub 78 is equal to 69.5 plus the value of K times N over 100 which is equal to 35.1 minus 32 divided by 5 times 12. 35.1 minus 32 is equal to 3.1. 3.1 divided by 5 is equal to 0 0.62. 0 0.62 times 12 is equal to 7.44 plus 69.5 is equal to 76.94. That means that P sub 78 is equal to 76.94.
The following table shows the number of plants in a house at a certain barangay in Tondo, Manila during the pandemic. Sold for P sub 35, P sub 62, and P sub 83. Let us first complete the primitive frequency column. We have 4 plus 5 is 9 plus 3 equals 12. Following the same process, we will have 16, 23, 26, and 30. That makes that our N, or the total frequency, is equal to 30. The lower class boundary of each class interval is negative 0 0.5, 2.5, 5.5, 8.5, 11.5, 14.5, 14.5, 14 and 17.5. Let us now locate P sub 35. Using the formula K times N all over 100, K is equal to 35 and N is equal to 30. That is equal to 35 times 30 divided by 100 which is equal to 10.5. That means that the 35th percentile lies on the 10.5th score of the group. P sub 35 or the 10.5th score lies in the class interval 6 to 8, which makes 6 to 8 our percentile class. Based on our percentile class, the lower class boundary is equal to 5.5, CFB is equal to 9, frequency is equal to 3, K is equal to 35, N is equal to 30, and I is equal to 3. Using these values, let us now substitute to the formula. We will have P sub 35 is equal to 5.5 plus the quantity K times N over 100, which is, is 10.5 minus 9 all over 3 times 3. Simplifying the numerator, 10.5 minus 9 is equal to 1.5. 1.5 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times 3 is equal to 1.5. 1.5 plus 5.5 is equal to 7. That means that P sub 35 is equal to 7. Let us now locate our P sub 62 or the 62nd percentile. Using the formula K times N all over 100, wherein K is equal to 62 and N is equal to 30, which is the total frequency. That is equal to 62 times 30 divided by 100, or simply 18.6. Therefore, the 62nd percentile lies on the 18.6 score. The 18.6 score lies in the interval 12 to 14. That makes 12 to 14 is our percentile class. Based on our percentile class, our LPK is equal to 11.5. Our CFB is 16. Our frequency is 7. Our K is equal to 62. N is 30. And I is equal to 3. Using these values, let us now solve for the 62nd percentile. We have P sub 62 equals 11.5 plus the value of K times N over 100, which we solved a while ago, which is equal to 18.6 minus 16 all over 7 times 3. Simplifying the numerator, we will have 2.6 divided by 7, that is equal to 0 0.37 times 3 is equal to 1.11. 1.11 plus 11.5 is equal to 12.61. Therefore, P sub 62 is equal to 12.61.
solving for P sub 83, where in K is equal to 83 and N is equal to 30. That is equal to 83 times 30 divided by 100, or simply 24.9. The 83rd percentile lies on the 24.9th score. The 24.9 score lies in the interval 15 to 17. Now, 15 to 17 will be our percentile class. Since this is our percentile class, the value of the lower class boundary is equal to 14.5. The cumulative frequency before is 23. The frequency is equal to 3. K is equal to 83. N is equal to 30 and I is equal to 3. Using these values, let us now solve for P sub 83. P sub 83 is equal to 14.5 plus the quantity, the value of Kn over 100, which we have solved a while ago, is equal to 24.9 minus 23 divided by 3 times 3. 24.9 minus 23 is equal to 1.9. 1.9 divided by 3 is equal to 0 0.63. 0 0.63 times 3 is equal to 1.9. 1.9 plus 14.5 is equal to 16.4. That means that the 83rd percentile is equal to 16.4. Let us now summarize what we have discussed in this video. In determining the percentiles from a group data in the form of a frequency distribution, consider the formula P sub K is equal to LPK plus the quantity K times N over 100 minus CFB all over FPK times I. Wherein LPK is the lower class boundary of the percentile class, CFB is the sum of the frequencies before the percentile class, FPK is the frequency of the percentile class, N is the total frequency, I is the class size, and K is the end percentile. Let us now check your knowledge. The following table shows the scores obtained by 50 students of grade 10 mathematics class in a 50 item test. Complete the table and solve for P sub 16 and P sub 57. Do not forget to pause this video while you are answering the activity. Good luck! Let us now discuss the answer. Let us complete first the cumulative frequency column. We have 6. 6 plus 6 equals 12 plus 11, 23. Following the same process, we will have 30, 39, 43, and 50. That makes that the total frequency is equal to 50. The lower class boundary of each interval is 6.5, 12.5, 18.5, and 42.5. Let us now identify or locate P sub 16, wherein K is equal to 16 and N is equal to 50. Using the formula K times N all over 100, we have 16 times 50 divided by 100 or simply equals 8. The 16th percentile lies on the 8th score. The 8th score is found in the interval 13 to 18. This indicates that 13 to 18 is our percentile class. Using our percentile class, LPK or the lower class boundary is equal to 12.5. The cumulative frequency before is 6. 
the frequency is 6, k is equal to 16, n is equal to 50, and the class size is equal to 6 because there are 6 scores between 13 to 18. Using these values, let us now solve for the 16th percentile by substituting to the formula. We have P sub 16 is equal to 12.5 plus the value of K n over 100 which we have solved a while ago which is equal to 8 minus 6 all over 6 times 6. Simplifying the numerator, 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. 2 divided by 6 is equal to 0 0.33. 0 0.33 divided by 6 is equal to 2. 2 plus 12.5 is equal to 14.5. Therefore, P sub 16 or the 16th percentile is equal to 14.4. Let us now locate P sub 57, wherein K is equal to 57 and N is equal to 50 using the formula k times n all over 100. We have 57 times 50 divided by 100. That is equal to 28.5. Therefore, the 57th percentile lies on the 28.5th score of the distribution. The 28.5th score lies in the interval 25 to 30. This makes 25 to 30 our percentile class. Based on our percentile class, the lower class boundary is equal to 24.5. The cumulative frequency before is equal to 23. The frequency is equal to 7. K is equal to 57 n is equal to 50 and i is equal to 6. Using these values, let us now solve for the 57th percentile. Substituting to the formula, that will be p sub 57 is equal to 24.5 plus the value of k times n over 100, which we have solved a while ago, that is 28.5 minus 23 divided by 7. 28.5 minus 23 is equal to 5.5. 5.5 divided by 7 is equal to 0 0.79. 0 0.79 times 6 is equal to 4.74. 4.74 plus 24.5 is equal to 29.24. That makes that the 57 percentile of the class is equal to 29.24. Thank you for watching Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning! Thank you and God bless!